Christ's message. The four Gospels record so many teachings of Jesus that we cannot reproduce them all here. However, let us identify as basic teachings and commands relative to salvation. Three such passages stand out because of the strong emphasis that Jesus himself placed on them. One concerns his deity. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. John 8, 24. The second is his comments to the Jews. I tell you, nay. But, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke 13, 3, 5. The third is his words to Nicodemus. Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. John 3, 5. The records in the Gospels of the last instructions of Jesus to his disciples before his ascension also deserve special attention. Matthew 28, 19, 2, 20 records his commands and promises as follows. 1. Go and teach all nations. 2. Baptize them. 3. I will be with you always. This last statement is a reference to his abiding spirit. John 14, 16, 2, 18. Mark 16, 15, 2, 18 records these elements. 1. Go and preach the gospel to every creature. 2. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. 3. Numerous miraculous signs, including tongues, shall follow believers. This last promise is a reference to the power accompanying the spirit baptism, Acts 1, 8, 2, 4. Luke's account of Christ's last words contains these basic points. 1. You are witnesses of my death and resurrection. 2. Preach repentance and remission of sins among all nations of course. Remission of sins includes water baptism, Acts 2, 38. 3. Wait until you receive power from on high, the promise of the Father, which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Luke 24, 46, 2, 49. Acts 1, 4, 2, 5. From the Gospels we can summarize Christ's commands relative to the experience of salvation as follows. 1. Believe in his deity. 2. Repent. 3. Be born of water and the Spirit. This last command corresponds to his command to be baptized and to wait for the baptism of the Holy Ghost.